Hi, I'm Sophie and welcome to my world. Today, I'm going to continue with making duct tape dolly clothes. Today, we're gonna make dolly a vest and I'm gonna show you how to make it right now. So for this project, you're going to need duct tape. Now, because this is a vest and it has no Velcro or anything like that on it, you can actually make this a double-sided vest. So I've got two colors here, a green and a purple. And I've got some strips that I've cut. I love cutting these strips ahead of time. These are gonna be my strips that I'm gonna put things together with. So I've taken my duct tape and I've ripped it into strips. You're gonna need a pattern, and this is really, really important. Just like with sewing, you need a pattern. This is on my website, www.sophie-world.com, and you're gonna find a PDF, and you can download this, and you're just gonna cut these pieces out so you've got your pattern pieces. And just like with our shirt, you're gonna need one piece for the backer and two pieces, in this case, for the front. I'm gonna move these off to the side. You're gonna need a piece of duct tape fabric, and this duct tape fabric is 14 inches long by six inches. That's 14 by six. You're gonna need your dolly just so that you can, you know, put things on and put things off to make sure that they are nice and tight, fit really well but I'm gonna move her off to the side for right now. And you need a pen. And of course our scissors are there. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is we take our pattern and we're gonna lay our pattern out in such a way that we trace, we trace it so that we can get the most on a page. So I can flip this like this. The main thing I have to remember is when I make my second piece for this, I need to turn it over. It's really important. So let me show you, I've already started tracing. So I've traced this, this is the back, that's traced. And then I've got my first piece of the front part of the vest traced. See how I fit it in there so that I could could get more out of my duct tape. Okay, now I'm going to flip this piece over. I flip it over, and see I can fit it in here anywhere that's nice and tight so that I can get the most out of my duct tape fabric. I'm gonna save this because I can use it for embellishments later. Okay, I'm going to just follow around. And follow around. Patterns are very, very important when you're making clothes. And you can start making your own patterns by just looking at the way the doll clothes that came with your doll are put together and making your own paper patterns. I like making paper patterns before I start just to test and make sure that I've got the right measurements. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is cut this out. And I'm gonna be cutting within the lines, but if you use a dry erase marker instead of a Sharpie marker, you can actually cut outside those lines and it'll be fine because you can just use your finger to erase those dry erase markers. I've also heard, I haven't tried this, but I've also heard that you can remove Sharpie with rubbing alcohol, but I have yet to try that. Okay, I'm gonna cut this out just like that. Save these pieces for later. I can make my watch out of those, my watch band. Okay, and I'm gonna cut this one. The nice thing about duct tape is that it's very forgiving. Um, unlike fabric, which will fray, if I need to trim something, once I've put my duct tape uh, vest together, it's okay, I can just cut and it won't fray which I really like. There we go. And last piece. Once again, I'm gonna save this piece for later on. Okay, now I'm gonna put my vest together. Now, what I'm gonna do is line up 
the pieces here. And I'm going to make sure that my green is facing out and my purple is facing in, or vice versa. In this case, I'm going to start with my green. I'm going to take a little strip here, put it up at the top, and a little strip here, put it up on the top. And what I'm doing is I'm putting half on, half off. I'm going to line up my sides here, and sometimes you need to just kind of give it a little push upwards. That's okay because this is like fabric, it, it can move. Okay, put half on, half off, line this up. Just need a little strip here, line it up, half on, half off. Now we're gonna turn this whole thing over. And secure on the back side here. Half on, half off. Just fold that over. And remember, you want to just line those up and fold it over. Do the same thing over here. Line it up and fold it over. And again, don't worry about that pooch. That pooch is fine. Okay, now we're going to turn this inside out so that we can get the purple edges. So for this, we're going to be using the purple tape. And I just turned it inside out like that. And line up my purple here. Again, half on, half off. Fold it over. Don't worry about any overhang. You're going to trim. You're going to trim all at the same time, so it's all good. A little piece of purple here, half on, half off. Fold it over. What's nice about this is not only is it securing it, but it's covering any sticky. So you won't have any stickies on your doll, which is very important. Nobody wants a sticky doll. Okay, now flip her back. And now we can get rid of those little extra pieces. So I'm just gonna take my scissors and give it a little trim. There's a little black extra there, so I'm just gonna cut that off. So trim there. And I'm going to fold this to make this easier to trim. Trim there. Trim the top. And trim the other side on the top. And we'll go to the other side here. And look, it looks like if I rub hard enough here that that little bit of a line will go away there, which is great. I'm going to fold this to make this easier to trim. And trim the bottom. And there you go. Now, I'm going to use the purple side because she's got a green shirt on. She's got a green shirt on, so I'm going to use the purple side. So let me show you how this works. I'm going to take off her vest here. And I'm going to flip this inside out. So the purple side is out. Come here, Dolly. A little extra here, snip. Okay, I slip one arm in, slip it around her back, slip the other arm in, and there she goes. Put her arms down, and Dolly's got her little vest. And there you have it, Dolly's got her vest. Now, if you come back next time, we're going to be making all of Dolly's fabulous little accessories. So make sure you come back because a Dolly ain't a Dolly without her accessories. Come and check us out at soapy-world.com.